one experiment. We have now a TGA curve here, which we can also evaluate via auto evaluation. And again, we have this mass loss step evaluated. Automatically, the residual mass is shown, the derivative of the mass is shown, and the peak of the derivative is labeled as well. For clarity, I hide now the DTG axis, this is the derivative, so that we can see better the DSC curve. Again, I do now auto evaluation and do exo. And wow, within a second we have these two peaks evaluated. The special thing here is that auto evaluation cuts here the two effects at the right position. We have here this one cursor in the middle placed correctly, and this is quite helpful and time saving because even if you would do it manually it wouldn't be so easy to do the evaluation like this the last example which is also sta is now a bit more complicated our mass loss curve or the mass changes show several mass loss steps we can evaluate by or with auto evaluation Again, so fast, we have the all the mass changes evaluated. The derivative is shown, the, the so-called DTG curve with the peaks labeled, everything automatically. There's no user-defined macro or something behind. This is truly automatic evaluation. And finally, the DSC curve. I would like to do also auto evaluation and do exo effect. And again, within a second, all these caloric effects are evaluated correctly. And this is particularly interesting because, in case of STA, our baseline is maybe not so perfect, but the function is able to evaluate. Uh, in a very nice way. Even this exothermic effect here is found. Of course, this optical view here can be changed in Proteus analysis. Let me show you so that uh, things can be seen a bit more uh, clear. And I hope I could show you how easy evaluations of DSC, TGA, and so STA measurements are, how easy and how fast when you use auto-evaluation by NEDGE.